Welcome internet, welcome the world, welcome YouTube. Again, it's Balik Sasan as usual from Digitopreneurs. So today we are going to talk about how you can add multiple email accounts to your Gmail, okay? So by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to add different and multiple email addresses into your Gmail and use your Gmail to send as to send and receive as those different email addresses. Let me show you what I mean, okay? So when you come here into my Gmail, uh, you'll find that I have, uh, I already have uh, different inboxes. For example, if I'm to compose an email, I can send as uh, balics at digitalpreneurs or coach at intelligent performance, okay? So those are, those are the different, uh, email addresses that this Gmail is managing as of now. And by the end of this, you will also have this in your Gmail. So let's get started. Okay, so what do you need to get started with this process? Obviously, number one, you need to have a Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, sign up for one. It's very easy. And then uh, two, you need to have the email server settings for the email address that you want to add into your Gmail, okay? So for example, uh, this will be the email server settings that I am going to use for uh, my balix at digitalpreneurs.com, okay? So we are going to disconnect balix and then I will show you how it is done. Okay, so all you have to do is uh, come to your uh, Gmail inbox, okay? And then go to your settings, uh, settings icon and then click it. And then uh, in case it brings this, uh, for, for this updated version, it will bring this panel right here. You can say, see all settings. Back in the days, it used to bring the settings all at once, but now it brings this panel. So say, see all settings. And then go to accounts and imports, okay? So you have general labels, inbox, accounts and imports, and then come to send mail as. You see that? So this means that you want to begin sending emails as that particular email address. So let us say add another email address and then it's going to open up. Uh, so you want to send this, uh, you want to send as who? So uh, let us say we are going to send as Hassan Balix and then the email address is going to be uh, Balix at digital renewers.com and then say uh, next step. So you see the settings here. Now we need to go to our account, to our SMTP settings. In case you don't have these, uh, these uh, email server settings, you can contact your domain host. Uh, he can always, he or she can always provide them to you. So username will be that, uh, username will be Balix at Digitalpreneurs. And then the password, the password will be uh, the password that you always use when you're signing into that particular email address. Okay, and then the SMTP server, uh, we get it from, again, we get it from the settings. Or oh, here we are sending, so it will be mail.digitalpreneurs.com. And then the SMTP port will be 465. That is for outgoing because we want to send us, okay? So send mail through your SMTP server. Uh, it will be mail.digitalpreneurs.com. Uh, the SMTP port is 465. 465, and that is going to be SHUA. SSL, okay? So as you can see, the SMTP server is right there. We got it from here. And then uh, the username is Balix and then the password for Balix are digital preneurs and then add account. Okay, so they have sent a verification code to my Balix are digital preneurs email. So let's go and check. So here is the email. So we just click, we just need to confirm. And then we just click the link that they send. So click that and then confirm. So we can click this link here to go back to our Gmail account. Okay, 
Congratulations. So that means right now you can send, I can send as Baliks at Digitopreneurs, okay? Now, we want also to be able to fetch uh, emails from Baliks at Digitopreneurs direct in our Gmail, okay? So uh, let me show you how to do that. So let's go to our Gmail again. We go to settings, see all settings, and then accounts and imports. So as you can see, this one already has a challenge. I'll check that later. So let us add a mail account where we shall be fetching our emails from. Add a mail account. Email addresses, it has already auto-filled Balix and Digitopreneurs. That's the one we want. and then uh, import emails from my other uh, account. Next. So now this time this will be incoming, okay? So username is again uh, Balix at Digitopreneurs. Password will be uh, my password for Balix at Digitopreneurs. Now, when we look at our email server settings, again, you can contact your domain host uh, for your email server settings. Uh, in my case, uh, as soon as this uh, email address was created, I received the email server settings. Uh, you could check your email. Uh, it's usually the first email as soon as your, your uh, email address is created, okay? So uh, incoming email, uh, incoming server settings are these ones, mail.digitopreneurs.com. So let's put those in mail.dictopreneurs.com uh, the port uh, is going to be a 995 pop3 uh, leave a copy on the server yes uh, use SSL label incoming messages yes I want them to be labeled and then the port is 110 no uh, mine says Mine says uh, port is 993, IMAP is 993, POP3 is 995. There you go. And then add account. And there you go. So now it will begin fetching emails. Uh, it will begin fetching emails from that account. Let us check our Gmail to see that it's, uh, it's working the way it's supposed to. So let me refresh. So when I refresh, you can see that in here you have uh, I can send mail as uh, Balik Hassan at Gmail. I can send mail as Digitopreneurs. Okay, uh, that has already been set up, and now I it is fetching emails from Balik's at Digitopreneurs.com. So that means everything has worked perfectly. So if I come to compose, I can compose as my Gmail or my Digitopreneurs, okay? So other than that, it has been amazing. It has been lovely interacting with you. Again, if you like these videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like and share with people who you think can benefit from these videos. Until next time, it's Balik Sassan from Digitopreneurs saying, Atsala Vista, bye-bye.